Hiya, hiya, Joey Reynolds with the, uh, I'm on an Apple Watch. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm on a COVID watch. I'm watching all those without masks. Bye. <laughs> uh, I got this uh, Apple Watch here. There's, there's a guy that says in Long Island, he said the Apple Watch saved his life. Uh, actually, the guy whose life got saved was Tim Cook. He's the chairman of Apple. If he didn't come up with this, he'd be gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, they got a lot of products. They have that Genius Bar, and all those guys have left uh, uh, Apple during the pandemic. Uh, all the geniuses left and went to work for Congress and the Senate. Have you noticed? And the uh, uh, first thing they did when they got to their new job in the Senate and Congress is they went on, on vacation. Should I center myself here? You know, see, this is, I've got a technical director here. It's, I'm my own technical director, my own producer, my own writer, uh, I, and my own audience. I laugh at my own stuff. Uh, and Tom, uh, Shotgun Tom from XM, uh, he, he got me hooked up with sound. And uh, I look like a priest now, right? And also uh, my friend Robert Fleischer, the artist, he got me uh, to compose the picture so that I look good. But it's still not like regular broadcasting where you have 100 people forming a union and being mad at the management. <laughs> it was so much fun. I mean, you, you have someone to focus your anger at. You know, you can't take it out on the kids and the wife. You take it out on the boss, but now, you know, the wife works and she's got the same issue you have. So everybody's beating everybody up. Have you noticed it? They're all mad. Everybody's mad. I mean, how mad, how mad can you get? It's like Gandhi said, you know, we're going to have an, uh, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. You're going to have a nation of blind and deaf people <laughs> and toothless people. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to be gumming ourselves to death with this society. And, and one of the big problems is that we uh, spend too much time alone and we realize we don't like ourselves. And then we spend too much time with people we don't like anyway. And the third thing is that we don't know what we want. That's the thing, you gotta know what you want. I mean, I know what I want, but I can't have what I want, so I'm gonna have to settle for what's uh, eighth best. You can't even have second best anymore. Uh, what I would like to have, uh, I, I could share with you, I wanna have a national radio, television, internet show, a triple cast. I've been fighting for that for years. I put it on the air in Times Square, in New York, I was on the radio, the TV, the internet. What now I think became Peacock, it was NBC. And I was on the digital channels where, before anybody was digital. And I had entertainment outside, long before this uh, Plaza Palooza or whatever the hell they call that thing at NBC on the uh, Today Show, which reminds me of the early days of TIP, where you can see my explanation of TIP on the YouTube, on the Joey Reynolds rap. This is the late Joey Reynolds. Uh, I, I did that because of the hour I was on the air, not because I died, but I have died. I died a lot of times on the air. <laughs> and in person, I'm, uh, you know, I'm pretty active. I still have a, a good, pretty good life ahead of me, I think. I got at least another week to live, so take advantage of it. Seriously, the, uh, the, the tip, what is it? All right, in the early days of the Elizabethan period, there was a time in the 15th century when kings used to have a kingdom and they, they owned everything. That's why they call them land lords. They were lords if they owned property. And the king was inherited uh, the throne because it was his bloodline. And what they did, if you were disrespectful to the king, even Sir Thomas More, who was the chancellor, which was the chief lawyer, you know, he was, he was way before Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan. Uh, he was chancellor and chancellor. And he, uh, he came in, was more and more, that's right, <laughs> more and more or less. So he came up uh, as, the, as the guy who made the laws. And the king wanted to have an affair with somebody. Uh, he wanted to get rid of his wife and marry someone. And uh, the, uh, the lawyer said, nah, you can't do that. So uh, uh, the king put him in a tower and ordered him to be beheaded. Now, wisely, Sir Thomas More went to his wife and said, hey, you know, she said, well, what do you think of the king? He said, I'm not going to tell you because if I tell you, they're going to have to kill you. <laughs> you know, that's where that came from, that old Italian saying, you know, if, uh, if I tell you what I know, they're going to have to kill me, you know, or kill you. Uh, so this, this is a, 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 a trilogy. Now, what happens? Okay, if you do something that the king didn't like, they order you to the tower. If you don't repent, then you get beheaded. Now, the guy that puts the uh, first of all, they put you on this thing where they put your neck in a, in a harness, and then he sharpens his blade. 
Now, if you don't tip the guy, he's going to give you a dull blade. You're going to, you know, this is not Gillette. This is, <laughs> this is the Wilkinsons, you know, and or as they say in uh, in Japan, you know, the uh, sa samurais had sharp. That's how they got the name of that company. So you know, they made they made swords, but that's a whole other story. So now you know, you get you get your head cut off when you uh, disrespect the king. And if the blade's not sharp, you're going to feel a little more pain on your way out than you uh, were counting on. And if, uh, for instance, uh, you weren't nice to the guy, he might give you a side swipe. So you want a, you want a nice cut if you're going to go. And so you would give him your money. You've got to give him a tip. And the tip was to ensure promptness. That's what you wanted. You wanted a swift cut, just like they want to do when they edit this show that I'm doing here. Uh, you know, you need to you need to have uh, an editor, no matter what. <laughs> this guy edited life. <laughs> he wore a hood and he got a tip. He got money for that. That's how he got paid. You know, so if you kill somebody, you got money for it. That sounds familiar. Uh, so I think somewhere along the line, uh, we lost the meaning of tip, except in New York, where you still can get beheaded by the prices, and uh, and if you don't uh, tip the guy, you're gonna you're gonna feel it. You gotta really feel it right here. <laughs> you get all choked up. <laughs> no, that's that's the story of Tip. I didn't, see, you didn't know that. And now we're going to talk about for unlaw unlawful carnal knowledge. Now, where does that come from? For unlawful carnal knowledge. What's the initials on that? That's the end of my broadcast. It's a uh, Reynolds wrap.